welcome everyone to Defender for Cloud in the field. Um, before we talk about today's episode, I just want to make sure that uh, if you are not a subscriber for the Microsoft Secure channel where we post this show, make sure to subscribe. There's an AKA link below that you can type and uh, click on the subscribe, hit the bell to receive notification about upcoming episodes. Now we can talk about the episode today, which is a great episode where we're going to explore more about Defender for Azure Cosmos DB, which is a relatively new plan um, that we release. Uh, we get, get some really good feedback about this plan and no one better than uh, this person to talk about this, which is uh, actually the developer behind uh, this great plan. My friend from our uh, Israeli team, Han Bandanan. Han, welcome to the show. Hi, Yuri. I'm very happy to be here. Very happy to have you here, my friend. We've been trying to have this uh, episode for a long time. So I'm glad that we are finally making it happen. Yeah, me too. Yes. So before we talk about the new, relatively new Defender for Cosmos DB plan, uh, can you give a, a brief overview about Cosmos DB, uh, use, main use case for the audience that may not be too familiar with this type of database? Uh, sure. So Cosmos DB is a really unique uh, cloud-native, uh, fully managed NoSQL database. Uh, it has advanced geolocation capabilities uh, with a bunch of advanced features like uh, low latency and high availability. And uh, from a security perspective, uh, it's really unique. And the threat and the attack surface was unexplored. So uh, this is what we address with Defender for Azure Cosmos DB. Um, it's available for the SQL API. And what you get with Defender is that we provide a security layer that detects the most common and dangerous threats on your account. Excellent. Uh Historically, in Defender for Cloud, we always look at the workloads from the preventative measure, uh, proactive uh, uh, point of view to make sure that we enhance the secure posture as well as the reactive measures with uh, threat detection and secure alerts. Uh, does Defender for Cosmos DB also brings those two perspectives? Sure. So you probably refer to recommendations and alerts, and uh, we invested in both. So we really want to not only protect, but also educate our customers and avoid threats. And we have the classic recommendations for closing your firewall and encrypting your data at rest. But one of the best recommendation we have uh, revolves around keys. And uh, we really want to encourage customers to enforce the usage of AAD authentication and to disable keys on their accounts. Uh, so this is what uh, we implemented. We have a recommendation that uh, with one click, you can just disable the usage of keys across your account and your subscriptions. So even if someone manages to steal your keys, uh, you have nothing to worry about. So that covers the recommendations, but uh, we always need detection because we can miss things and we need to assume breach. And this is why uh, we look at all the data from the audit logs uh, for the SQL API, both gateway and backend. And we analyze not only the data plane transactions, but also the control plane operation. And it's really important to state that Defender is not impacting the performance of the database in any way. And customers don't need to enable or pay for uh, diagnostic logs in order for Defender to work. Yeah. That's really good. That's really good. And talking about threat detection, let's talk about some of the uh, analytics uh, that we have out of the box with this plan. One one thing that I, I was reading about uh, is that we do have SQL injection uh, detection, which you, a lot of uh, people may not even know that uh, Cosmos DB is vulnerable to SQL injection. So can you explore, elaborate more on that, how that works? Yeah, sure. So we will also see a demo. And actually, that was one of the top questions from our customers. So is SQL injection even possible on uh, Azure Cosmos DB? 
And we can understand why it's not clear because we have a NoSQL database <laughs> with a SQL API to come in. And yeah, the answer is yes. The most common form of SQL injection does exist in uh, Cosmos DB. It's limited when compared to other databases. So for example, um, attackers won't be able to use your database to mine for cryptocurrencies, uh, but it's still possible to extract data with a successful SQL injection. And we catch a lot of SQL injections. Uh, we see them in the wild. We get uh, excellent feedback on that alert, by the way. And one interesting thing that is worth mentioning is that um, all detection engine will alert you not only on SQL injection attempts, but also on other kinds of uh, attacks related to queries. So for example, uh, cross-site scripting or uh, blind attempts to run SQL snippets and many kind of attacks that focus on your application and sometimes less on the database. Interesting, very interesting. Uh, the other one that I thought that was a uh, uh, pretty cool uh, scenario is the key extraction detection. Well, uh, can you please elaborate more on that one? Sure. So <laughs> keys uh, is a recurring uh, uh, topic uh, when we talk about Cosmos DB security. And they are probably one of the biggest pain when managing the security posture of uh, Azure Cosmos DB. Uh, they are super convenient. Uh, but they can cause a lot of damage. So it's how to track with using them. There is no identity with the key. Uh, they are how to manage. They can leak. And if they leak, it's a nightmare because it's how to block them. You might hurt your business application in the process. And if you're an attacker and you got the keys, you have access to everything. You can download the data. You can update, change. You can do anything you want. So. As we said before, uh, Cosmos DB has a feature to enforce the blocking of keys. And we added a recommendation to turn that feature on. Super important. We are highly encouraged customers to do that. But we also have two detections related to keys. So um, the first one uh, will send an alert when someone tries to list all your keys with a scanning script. So you can think about uh, Microburst, for example. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of public scripts that do that. Um, what the script do uh, is that start, they start with a specific identity. So let's say that you manage to get an identity because um, you uh, stole it or because you're a malicious insider with an identity with uh, uh, some privileges and you want to try to understand, okay, what can I do with that identity? And what they do is the script is that they will try to list the keys across your subscription um, and see what they can get. And so we have a detection for that. Um, and the second detection that we have actually tracks the pattern of the list keys operation. And we will send an alert if the operation is unusual. So you can think of an app that uh, never listed keys on the Cosmos account. And we see that usually uh, some other apps use uh, list keys operation. And uh, we will send an alert because it's really unusual. It's not something that we see on the account. Very cool. Besides those two analytics, there is any other one that you want to highlight? Um, so if you already use Defender product, uh, it will sound familiar. So uh, data exfiltration is obviously a big concern uh, because our customers' data is one of the most important assets that they have in the cloud. And um, we, so we constantly monitor the usual amounts of data extracted and we will send an alert if we see a deviation from the regular pattern. And in addition, we have alerts related to the IP address. So for example, uh, we will alert you on anomalous connection from uh, unusual location or from a suspicious IP, uh, which by the way, is based on the Microsoft Threat Intelligence data, which is a huge amount of data about IPs and their reputation. And it's all shared with the other Defender services that we have. So Defender for Storage and Defender for uh, SQL. Uh, so a lot of the knowledge that we had in uh, the, the other Defender products, we brought that knowledge to Defender for Cosmos DB. And I think that the best way to summarize what we try to do is to think about uh, the extra protection and the alerts uh, as um, um, a multi layer uh, protection. So when we think of attacks, we think 
about the malicious insider that will uh, manage to steal the keys and get in the front door. But not only that, we also think about the attacker that will manage to get in by uh, finding a breach in your applications with the SQL injection. Uh, we, we think about the compromise identity and so on and so on. And we think about the data plane, the control plane. We try to really map everything and to cover everything with uh, uh, all the alerts that yeah, we provide. If you think about it, it's almost, it's actually it is the whole concept of defense in depth, right? You have multi-layers yeah. of protection and detection. Uh, and one a great example of that is the Defender for Resource Manager, right? Because maybe the attacker is gaining access through the, the, the resource manager calls, and then from that point on it escalate, go to another place. So having detection for multiple entry points is extremely important. So great stuff. Uh, glad to see uh, all those analytics. Now let's go through uh, some demonstration because I know you have some pretty cool demos to share. Sure, so what we will see is, uh, I think it's a classical SQL injection demo. So here we have uh, a usual portal for customers of Contoso Medical. Uh, Contoso Medical team has a backend that store and retrieves data from a Cosmos DB collection. So here you can see that we have all the data in one collection. So we have the data for all customers and we enforce the access to the data on the backend. And now we will see the application. So the application is very simple. As you can see, I'm John and I have access to only two records because this is the data that I have for my user. And uh, here we have a search bar. So with that search bar, we can search across my records. But if I'm a malicious insider and I know that uh, I can try to uh, find my way in uh, the database, I will do uh, the classical SQL injection pattern into the search bar. And here we go. We have the data from all the customers of Contoso Medical. And that's not great, but uh, they enable Defender for Azure Cosmos DB and they receive an alert. And they can see uh, two important things. First, uh, you can see the number of rows that uh, were uh, returned from that query and you can see the query itself. You can see that the query uh, has the pattern that we injected right here. Um, regarding the uh, additional information, here we have the IP address of the application. So it's not uh, uh, the IP address of the, the attacker. And uh, now we need to think about how to remediate these kind of attacks. And um, the way that uh, we do that in Cosmos DB is by using parameterized queries. So uh, it's very simple, actually. And let me show you how we do it. So as you can see on the top, uh, it's the vulnerable code without parameterized query. You can see that we take the input from the UI and uh, create the queries with that input right away. And that's not good. What we need to do is to uh, use parameters uh, with the SDK. It's very simple to do, as you can see on the bottom. And that's it. Uh, you are protected from SQL injection. Which is actually the best uh, uh, option anyway to protect directly the code rather than, mm -hmm. you know, adding firewalls or things like that just to circumvent or put a band-aid into SQL injection. We, we all know that the, the best protection for SQL injection is uh, is the secure hygiene of the code. Yeah, because firewall really don't matter. As you can see, in the even in the alert that we sent, the IP address is the IP address of your application. So it really doesn't matter. You can think that you're protected with a firewall, but really not. You really need to think about your application and your logic. Uh, it's the best way to protect uh, SQL injection. Absolutely, my friend. Uh, great demo. Thanks for sharing that one. Uh, do you have any final considerations, any uh, things that customers should do right away to enable this plan, try out, uh, because I know there is a trial period just like any other Defender plans um, and, and they can start uh, leveraging some of the capabilities? Sure. So, um, yeah, we have a uh, trial period. You can uh, try uh, the product, you can uh, generate sample alerts and um, create some automations. 
And one thing that is worth mentioning is that we also worked on a big bundle called Defender for Databases. So uh, if you go to the uh, AAC environment set, MDC environment settings, you will be able to enable Defender not only for Co Azure Cosmos DB, but also for all your databases. So that's the one advice that I will give customers to protect all their databases across their subscriptions. Absolutely, uh, very important. Make sure to uh, enable this um, for a, a trial period if you never did enable. Try out, go to our documentation where we document all the analytics so you have an idea about the, the value of what you're getting. Uh, the secure alerts reference guide uh, on the documentation page. I'm actually going to put the link here. Uh, you can access this page and then visualize uh, the alerts that we'll provide to you. Hain, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate uh, you taking the time to explain this new uh, plan and also demonstrate that to us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Yuri. It was a pleasure. All right, everyone, thank you for joining another episode. Uh, stay tuned because we have a lot of episodes coming up right after Ignite. Uh, we have a great lineup ahead, so make sure to subscribe. Again, sharing the AKA link below. And see you again next time.